guys, it's Mr. Lee's doing the higher mathematics revision on the straight line, part one, the first one we ask you to do. And I'm going to be doing exercise 1G, which is a mixture of questions. So for question two, we're asking you to find the equation of the line that goes through various coordinates. So I'm going to be using uh, for a line of gradient M going through AB, y minus b is m times x minus a as a start off to get the equation of the line. So if we have a, a line going through 4, 5 and 2, 3 for question 2a, the gradient is 3 take 5 over 2 take 4. 3 take 5 is minus 2. 2 take 4 is minus 2 also. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 gives you 1. So we have a line with a gradient equal to 1 going through, pick any of them, 4, 5. Okay, so y minus b, y minus 5 is m times x minus 4. Multiplying through by 1 doesn't do anything, so we can just get rid of the brackets there. So y equals x minus 4 plus 5, so y equals x plus 1. For a line going through 1, 0 and minus 2, minus 6, the gradient is minus 6 take 0 over minus 2 take 1. Minus 6 take 0, of course, is minus 6. Minus 2 take away 1 is minus 3. That gives you 2. So we have a line of gradient 2 going through 1, 0. I tend to choose the coordinate that's got the no negatives or smaller numbers, 1, 0 suits me fine here. So y minus b, y minus 0 is 2 times x minus 1. 2 times x take 1 is 2x take 2. So y equals 2x take 2 is the equation of that one. And for c, the gradient is 5 take minus 5 over 2 take minus 3. That gives you 10 over 5, which is 2. So we have a line with a gradient of 2 going through 2, 5. So y minus 5 is 2 times x minus 2. 2 times x minus 2 is 2x take 4. Plus the 5 gives you 2x plus 1 for that one there. And for d, you have a 0, 0 and 4 minus 2. So the gradient, minus 2 take 0 over 4 take 0, which gives you minus 2 over 4, which is minus a half. So if a line of gradient m equals minus a half going through 0, 0. So y minus 0 is minus a half times x minus 0. So y equals minus a half times x. For e, the gradient is minus 6 take minus 4 over 3 take 1. Minus 6, eight, add 4 is minus 2. 3 take 1 is 2. So the gradient is minus 1. So we have a line, gradient equal to minus 1, going through, no avoiding negatives. So 1 minus 4 we'll have to do. So y minus minus 4 is minus 1 times x minus 1. Minus 1 times x is minus x. Minus minus is a plus. 1 times 1 is 1. So y equals minus x plus 1, take 4. So y equals minus x, take 3. For f, the gradient is 4, take 2, over minus 2, take 4. 4, take 2 is 2. Minus 2, take 4 is minus 6, which is minus 1 third. 2, 6 is a third. So we have a line, gradient equal to a negative a third, going through 4, 2. So y minus 2 is negative a third times x minus 4. Multiply through by negative a third, negative a third x. Minus minus is a plus. 4 times a third is 4 thirds. So y equals negative a third x plus 4 thirds plus 2. Don't forget that 2 is equal to 6 thirds. So 4 thirds plus 6 thirds is 10 thirds. And that's it there. Next one, for you, uh, we have to get the equation of a line going through 3, 1 
which is parallel to the line y equals 3x take 4. So y equals 3x take 4 has a gradient of 3. So any parallel line has gradient equal to 3 also. So we want the equation of a line with a gradient of 3 going through 3, 1. So y minus b, y minus 1 is 3 times x minus 3. That gives you 3x take 9. Plus the 1 gives you 3x take 8. And for 3b, we're given the line y equals a half x plus 5. And we want to find the equation of the line perpendicular to that, going through 1 minus 2. So that has got a gradient of a half. So the gradient of the perpendicular, and that's a mathematical way of writing that, has to be minus 2. Because minus 2 times a half gives you minus 1. Remember, the two lines are perpendicular. Their gradients must multiply to give minus 1. So, we want the equation of a line with a gradient of minus 2 going through 1 minus 2. So, y minus minus 2, y plus 2, is minus 2 times x take 1, which is minus 2x plus 2. So, y equals minus 2x plus 2. Take 2 just leaves you with y equals minus 2x. And for 3c, they want you to get the equation of the line parallel to y equals 5x, passing through minus 2, 3. So as we've, dis as we've discussed earlier on, any line with a gradient of 5, any line parallel to that has a gradient of 5 also. So we want a line gradient of 5 going through minus 2, 3. So y minus 3 is 5 times x minus minus 2, x plus 2 there, times by 5 gives you 5x plus 10, add another 3, y equals 5x plus 13 for that. For D, they want to get the equation of a line parallel to y equals minus 3x plus 9, and passing through the origin, which is 0, 0. So, the line, uh, the gradient of that is minus 3, so the line we want has got a gradient of minus 3 also, passing through 0, 0. y minus 0 is minus 3 times x minus 0, so y equals minus 3 times x is that one there. Question E. They want to know the equation of the line going through 7 minus 5, which is perpendicular to the x-axis. So drawing a little diagram of this, there's 7 minus 5. Um, perpendicular to the x-axis means it's going up and down. So any vertical line has got equation x equals and it's x equals the x coordinate that it goes through. So that line there has equation x equals 7. And for 3f, they want to know the equation of the line parallel to the x-axis going through 3 minus 2. So there's 3 minus 2. The line parallel represented by this broken line here. That's it there. Uh, any line with gradient 0 has equation y equals y equals the y coordinate that goes through. So this is y equals minus 2. And for g, they want to know the equation of the line going through 4, 5 that is parallel to the line joining minus 1, minus 3, and 3, minus 1. So let's get the gradient of that. Minus 1 take minus 3. Minus 1 add 3, which is 2. 3 take minus 1 is 4. So the gradient of that is a half. So any parallel line has got a gradient of a half also. So we want a line with a gradient of a half going through 4, 5. So y minus 5 is a half times x minus 4. Half times x is a half x. Take a half times 4. 4 halves give 2. Plus 5 gives you y equals a half x plus 3. And for 3h, they want to know the line that passes through 6, 1. That's right angles to the line joining a, 6, 1, to b, 7, minus 1. So let's get the, equa the gradient of the line going from a to b. So it's minus 1, take 1, over 7, take 6. Minus 1, take 1 is minus 2. 7, take 6 is 1. So the gradient of that line is minus 2. So the gradient of the perpendicular has to be a half, because a half times minus 2 gives minus 1. So we want a line with a gradient of a half going through 6, 1. 
So y minus 1, y minus b, uh, y minus b equals a half times x take 6. Multiply 3 by a half, you get a half of x take 6 a half, skip 3. So y equals a half x take 3, add 1, so y equals negative a half x, I should say, take away 2. Let's have a wee go at the very last one. Question 4. PQRS is a rectangular field of barley. A farm road runs on a straight line. It might be easier if I just show you there. A farm road runs on a straight line from the farm at O. There it is there. Along one side of the field relative to the x and y axis. P is the point 0.38, there it is there, and OQR has equation y equals 2x. Find the equation of the line P to S and the equation of the line going from P to Q. Okay, so just looking at this diagram, if this line here, the line going from O to QR, has equation y equals 2x, then it's got a gradient of 2. And with this being a rectangular field, then PS has got a gradient of 2 also. Okay, so we want a line, gradient 2 going through P, which is 3, 8. So, Y minus 8 is 2 times X minus 3. 2 times X minus 3 is 2X takes 6. Plus 8 is 2X plus 2. So that's the equation of that one. And just have a look at this one here. If that's got a gradient of 2, with PQRS being a rectangle, then this is right angles to that. So if that's got a gradient of 2, this must have a gradient of minus 1 over 2 minus a half. So we want the line with a gradient equal to minus a half going through P, which is 3, 8. So Y minus 8 is negative a half times X minus 3. Negative a half times x plus 3 over 2. So y equals negative a half x plus 3 over 2 plus 8. So y equals negative a half x plus 19 over 2. Okay, 8 is 16 halves. Add 3 gives you 19 halves there. You may wish to use uh, 2y take 16 is minus 1x plus 3. Here, in other words, you maybe wish to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the halves there. So 2y takes 16 is minus 1x plus 3. So 2y plus 1x is 3 plus 16, which is 19. These are both correct. That's us done.